My name is Kadeem Roman, and today I will be giving a speech on why domestic violence is very bad and needs to come to an end. As you can see, there's a sign that says stop the domestic violence. There's a lady down here that's crying. Um, she's been going through so much, you know, purple ribbon, what represents that. Domestic violence. Domestic violence is the willful intimidation, physical assault, battery, sexual assault, and or other abusive behavior. As a part of a systematic pattern of power and control of perpetrated by one intimidated partner against one another. It includes physical violence, sexual violence, threats, and emotional abuse. The frequency and severity of domestic violence can vary dramatically. Physical abuse can be considered as scratching, biting, grabbing, and even spitting. Shoving and pushing, you know, some may say that's not domestic violence, but it's considered domestic violence. Slapping and punching, throwing objects to hurt or intimidate you, destroying possessions or treasure objects, hurting or threatening to hurt your children and or pets. That's very, very shameful. Who wants to hurt their own kids or somebody else's kids? Disrupting your sleeping patterns to make you feel exhausted, like play the leave the TV too loud, talking on the phone, just anything to just bring out your comfort zone. Burning stuff, strangling you, attacking or threat to attack you with a weapon, any threats or actual attempts to kill you is all considered the physical abuse that comes with domestic violence. These are some pictures of domestic violence. As you can see, this lady is like, you know, she was probably out or came home late one day from having a good day and the spouse made her beat her up or whatever situation may be. This one is a very, very severe case. Like she might need weeks to recover from this. Her eyes are yellow, they're pussy. She might be get put on antibiotics and this one, as you can see, she was she was a very, very beautiful girl before the abuse. Um, you know, like her, I don't know if you can see, but the face up here, it's purple and blue. Even her arm is black and blue. And this, you know, it's very severe. As far as this one, this is a man, you know, his is very severe too, but it's not as bad because it's just red, it's not purple or pussy. This lady, um, I don't know if you see, but she has two black eyes and I did a research on her and she actually has brain injuries from this domestic violence. This lady is not as as severe, but you know, it's all domestic violence. Um, this one, as you can see, she already has a purple eye indicating that it's an old, it's an old incident and she's still getting abused as you can see, because this is a man. -head. This one may have been just one hit at home, but it's all considered domestic violence. It's not cool, it should stop. Outcomes. As you can see in the last pictures, bruises, bruises around the eyes, red or purple marks of the neck, sprain or broken wrist, chronic fatigue, shortness of breath, muscle tension, involuntary shaking. What involuntary shaking means like someone can beat you up so much to where you start having nerve damage, like your eyes start twitching, your hands start twitching, stuff of those nature. Changes in eating and sleeping patterns, you know, that just come with stress, like you're just stressed out to where like you don't feel safe or just a lot of things going on in your mind, you don't even care about eating no more. Sexual dysfunction, um, yeah. Menstrual cycle of fertility issues in women, man, that's crazy, like someone can beat you too bad to where you might miss your cycle one month or might miss for a couple months, think you're pregnant, but you're not pregnant just because you have physical abuse. Statistics. On average, 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States. During one year, this equates to more than 10 million women and men. So during this class period, someone is getting beaten. Every next class period, someone else is getting beaten. So every 20 minutes, someone is getting beaten whether it's a woman or it's a man. One in four women and one
one in nine men experience severe intimate partner physical violence. Intimate partner contact sexual violence and or intimate partner stalking with impacts such as injury, fearfulness, post-traumatic stress disorder, use of victim services, contraction of sexual transmitted diseases, etc. In 2016, 100,668 crimes of domestic violence were reported to Florida law enforcement agencies resulting in only 63,193 arrests. Meaning, if police come out and there is a domestic violence case going on, if the woman doesn't want to press charges, then they're not getting arrested. And you know what I mean? Or it could be as if both of them were fighting, they both got injuries, they'll be like, all right, one sleep in this room tonight, one sleep here, or pack things up and move on for a day. But if you don't press charges, then there is no arrest because the woman has to press charges. And sometimes they don't press charges with fear, like they live with them, or sometimes they might need the income or just, because it's the father of their kids, you know, they don't want them to be crying. Ways to avoid. Know the signs. Meaning if you have a coworker that's coming to work wearing glasses or whatever the situation is, there's no the signs. You could somewhat see, you can see when someone is stressed out or, you know, have someone abuse. Even if they're trying to lie to you, just try to talk to them or see it. Don't ignore it. Like if you see it physically, don't ignore it. Try to talk to them, give them a, Give them a lender ear to look for them to listen to you, or you listen to them. Try to have an insight and make it make it better for them. Being available is also letting them know, hey, I'm a call away. If something's going on, call me. You know what I mean? I check up on you every so often. You know what I mean? Goes back checking in regular. Um, be a resource. Can say if it's very very severe, like it's like war zone, then you know you can. Actually, be like, hey, come stay at night with me tonight and we'll sort it out and we'll try to get you on a new pack. Write it down, um, get the word out, I mean, like, get contact authorities, you know, you you know what I mean? Sometimes when authorities get in, then the woman may feel a little more empowered and she will sometimes, you know, say her part and actually make steps further in getting them out. Um, put your money where your mouth is as far as, you know, helping a friend out if that needs it. All right. In conclusion, domestic violence is a big factor in the United States, as well as around the world. No mother or woman should ever go through domestic violence. No matter how tense the argument or differences get, I wish domestic violence would come to an end so homes can stay a safe haven instead of a war zone for the victim and others in the household. Because not only does it break you physically, but it also breaks you mentally as a person. There's my citations. Tell me I did 